of style. I'm talking, of course, about the French capital, Paris. We're at the Pat de Pass. I'm Derek Ray, and delighted to have Stuart Robson sharing commentary duties with me. And what we have coming up for you is action from Champions League match day one. It's Paris Saint-Germain against Atletico Madrid. Well, thanks, Derek. As always, when you're playing your first match, there's going to be a little bit of anxiety and tension. But these are two decent teams, so I'm expecting a really good game today. Here is the initial 11 for Paris Saint-Germain. Gianluigi Donnarumma begins in goal. Nuno Menge plays with Ashraf Hakimi in the fullback positions. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. And this is how Atletico will line up. Jan Oblak stands between the posts. Robin Lenormand starts with Jose Maria Jimenez in the center of defense. Rodrigo de Paul starts alongside Coque in central midfield. And up front, Antoine Griezmann starts alongside Julian Alvarez. And so the battle commences. Here's Alvarez. A lot of momentum to this Atletico attack. Koke. Moving the ball effectively. Well, doesn't have to do it on his own. And the flag was up in good time. It's offside. Well, he should have realised that was going to be offside. That's a poor decision to play that pass. And an astute piece of defending. Dembele. Hakimi. And the danger clear. Marcos Llorente. Perfect challenge. Chance to play it in. Will it happen for them? Well, they should be ahead now. Yes, it was a good save, Derek, but he should score from there. Dembele tasked with taking the corner. And efficient defending. It might be on for them. Pass and move, pass and move. Their opponents really... And a goal it is! But offside is the verdict. Well, it's a good finish, but he was just offside. Great decision by the assistant.
De Paul. Koke with it. Alvarez. Good visualization and execution. Can he finish this? Well, he didn't miss by very much at all. It's there for him. His hand does the trick. Well, despite the gate of chances, PSG still find themselves level at the moment, and you have to say that was a really good save from the keeper. Now, high quality defending. Alvarez. Connor Gallagher. Koke. Connor Gallagher. Promising looking ball. And given the defender's touch, the referee says corner. <laughs> Favouring the short one. It back. Llorente closing down well. Griezmann. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Ferreira. Oh, this is looking promising. But a good piece of tidying up. Making use of his physical strength to hang on to it. Lenormand. Back now to the goalkeeper. Koke. Gallagher. Here's Alvarez. Encouraging this from Atletico. But nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. Can they hit on the break? They must take the lead here. Oh, he's been denied. And they remain locked together. Well, that's a good save, but really he should have scored from there. That's a big chance. Played over. another look at it certainly delivery into the box couldn't have been any better and then what a great finish as well good connection with the ball leaving the keeper with little chance it's a great goal well just look at his reaction that could prove to be a massive goal for his team And there it is, the half-time whistle. Underway in the second half, and Atletico trailing. Let's see if they can turn this round. Koke. Griezmann. Rodrigo de Paul. Koke with it. De Paul. Gallagher. Nicely timed tackle. 
Donnarumma. Mensch doesn't want to lose his cool here. Using his physical strength to shield it. Ferreira. Now what can Paris Saint-Germain do from this position? And in the right position to read it. Koke. Marcos Llorente has it. Well, he's been the standout for his side so far, don't you think, Stuart? Yeah, he played well, I thought. When he had the ball, he made the right decisions, and he certainly affected the game. PSG, as you can see, have not enjoyed that much possession, but their counter-attacking has been really good, particularly in the wide areas. It's been an excellent performance from them so far. More defending for them to do here, though. Interception to snuff out the danger. Decent position. Oh, did so well to deny him. And it is substitution time at this juncture, not just from one side, but from both. And there's the delivery. Clearing is away. Can he create an angle? Minch. On Paris Saint-Germain, sloppy in possession. Conor Gallagher. Breaking at pace. Beautifully weighted ball. What a block! Minch. Warren Zaire Emery. Ferreira. Dembele on the ball. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. De Paul. Here's Alvarez. 15 minutes left for play. Marcos Llorente. De Paul. Perfect challenge. Koke. Really good, strong tackle. And it'll be a throw-in. PSG are going to switch things around on the personnel front. Just 10 minutes to go. A really good pass. Well, couldn't bend his run, and the flag went up. Now making considerable progress with the ball. But it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. Warren Zaire Emery. Now PSG moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? He read the situation defensively and did his job. Atletico Madrid know they're not going to get too many more chances. Time is a factor.
Well, the final whistle is almost upon us. PSG would dearly love to hear it. Will they get the win here? Stuart, your thoughts on their performance? Well, it's going to be a nervy end to this game. But if they do hold on, I think they've deserved their win. They've played really well and they've played some good attacking football. And in general, they've controlled the game. So two minutes of stoppage time to be added on. And the upshot of that is offside. Well, he needed to look elsewhere because the flag was always going to go up. Toro Muani. Dembele. A final whistle, and not exactly what Atletico had in mind. They begin with a defeat. It's a wretched start to the Champions League campaign for Atletico. Yeah, they'll be disappointed. It's an uphill battle if you don't get anything from your opening game. It really comes down to how they bounce back now. Why do we see a better performance next time out? Well, there's a good reason why we're highlighting him. Really dominant in attack in this game, Stuart. Well, that performance sums him up, really. You're never disappointed with what he gives you. Such a good player.